Yes, what a great win. What a great way to end the road trip, right? Absolutely. And Dubnik, oh what a save, what an amazing save. He must be the best of the best right now. Again, very much yes. Can we also agree that this probably was the worst game we played all season? Yeah, that is true. What is up guys and welcome to today's video where the St. Louis Blues got beaten 3-2 by the Minnesota Wild. Hell yeah we end the road trip on a good note. Hell yeah we end with a win. Hell yeah we ended with 6 points. This was a road trip where we had 7 games and we went 5-2. and two. So This was a really good positive road trip. The, the two games that slipped away was Vancouver where I remember me yelling and I'm not gonna do that hopefully again. But after that, we responded well. One against St. Louis, one against Edmonton. Went to um, California, where we lost, unfortunately, in a really good game, I think, against St. Jose. And then we went to Anaheim, got a hardball win, got a safe win over the Kings. And then we beat the St. Louis again. We had a really good road trip, I think, overall. But yeah, into the first period we go, we're in the Minnesota Wild Start. Like, we unfortunately have done a lot of times. We start extremely bad. We really don't look good. We really, really don't skate well. Dubnik has a few really good saves um, in the first minute of it. We get we take a penalty. Dubnik comes up with a good um, movement um, from side to side and make a good save. Kind of like a shot that he actually faced and let in last time we met St. Louis. We do get chances of our own eventually. We kind of work our way into the game a little bit. We kind of get better and better as the period goes along. Grandon has a huge chance. But unfortunately, somehow he managed to shoot that puck at um, Chad Johnson, who is in it. And unfortunately, not a goal in this instance. But hey, it's hockey. We'll get better. We'll get better. We'll have our chances. One minute before the period ends. And we mess up completely. Stanford has the puck in at the side of the net. There isn't really a big danger until we make a massively defensive error. And we forget that there is... A person behind our goal, which I think is um, Bibero, who is down there. And then he passes across to a wide open Sunquist when he gets the puck. Because we have five guys who is trying to skate up by. No chance for Dubnik. That one is sent across easily to a wide open man who can just first time it from the slot. No way he's going to save that. But like I said, this is on the defense completely in my opinion. Um, and kind of like the Anaheim Ducks games where I pointed out the Anaheim Ducks defensive breakdown, I kind of done the same again um, towards the Wild this time. And as you can see, this is not a dangerous play at all. Stanford has it. There isn't really anything he can do with it if we just keep the structure of it where we keep be a barrel up, um, down low and kind of keep a man eye on him, kind of make sure he doesn't get it. And if he does, make sure he doesn't have a passing lane. Skip. Two seconds ahead, and this happens. Why, why, why did you do that? Why are we five guys, and you can count them? I don't know if I did numbers this time, but you can count them. There's five Minnesota players above where the puck is at this point. And the puck is going down low where there is a wide open St. Louis player. And of course he's just going to pass that across when he gets the chance, because there is nobody covering the middle. We are all in the same spot. You have to be able to trust your guys, sure, but you cannot make a mistake like that. And sadly, that's how we go into the second period. Down one, not underserved, but on a defensive breakdown that just can't happen in the NHL, in my opinion. But the second period start, you will expect that they kind of got a little bit more speed in their boots. And guess what? They have one minute into the period. We get the first goal. And it's kind of weird because it's Nino Ryder just floating the puck on net. Like he's a football player. He just crossbar challenged that one. Like he's on YouTube. Hey guys and welcome to today's video with Nino Nino Ryder. Where I'm going to attempt the crossbar challenge with a puck from the blue line in an actual game. And this time I'm going to do it a little trick. Because we're going to pass it to Parisi from the crossbar. We go one, two, three. <laughs> The puck hits the crossbar, bounces down, and Parise, with amazingly slick hands, turns with the puck, 
rolls it onto his forehand and then puts it into the empty net because he is crashing it. He's done kind of the place that I think Zacharys has been really good at this season. Been at near the net, been really, really pesty, been not necessarily dirty in front of the net, but just been that deflection personnel and just be that annoying body to move, just be there all the time, just have those amazing hands. And he has gotten a lot of gold from that. 24 seconds later, is 2-1 wild. This time, the first for someone who I think really deserved it. Joel Eriksson Ed gets his first of the season after a little bit of a weird play where the St. Louis Blues allow a 2-1 one-man rush. Um, where Eriksson Ed turns, puts it to Coyle, I think, or Greenway, who shoots it. It goes through Chad Johnson and Eriksson Ed is just easily puts it in because he's the only one who really got to the front of the net, used his body really well to screen off a St. Louis player and it's 2-1. Minnesota, after a really, really bad first period, we lead. The second period kind of continues, though, with the theme of the first, where we really don't show up. Sadly, that usually means that the opponents get chances, and one of those is leaving Petrangelo wide open from the high slot with a clear shot that just beats Dubnik. It is a savable shot, sure, but this is a player that's paid to score goals, and that is a good goal by a good scope player, by probably an elite player, sometimes that beats elite goalies, which I do think Dubnik is, and I think he had an amazing game. You cannot fault Dubnik for any of the goals. And yes, it's a, it's not a breakaway, it's not a block shot, it's not a deflection, it's not something like that. However, it is a clear shot, and sometimes they go in. Third period, and it's really, really, really bad. Like, really bad from both teams. And honestly, the whole game was bad. Both teams did not play well. The Wild looks tired, which you can't really blame them for. They played so many road games and they had so many travels. So this was just a tiresome stretch. And you can see them be tired. However, St. Louis looked not a lot better, honestly. They didn't look great. They looked a little bit better, I think, than the Wild overall. But they weren't great either. But 10 minutes before the game ends, Stahl puts it in front of the net. And nobody really gets it before Granlund shoots, snipes, scores, and it's 3-2 wild. And then comes the scary bit because we have the puck now and we have the lead. And there's a minute left and we can't get it out our zone. St. Louis gets closer and closer. Oh god, why why didn't we get it out? Why do they have a free on one man rush? Box to O'Reilly. No, 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 no. Dubnik is a hero. I've seen good saves, and I've seen Scott Darling saves, which I may think is a little bit better. But that is definitely right now, in my opinion, in the top three of saves of the year. Dubnik, in that time, has to make a fantastic save that is going to cross from where he already had to readjust on an actual save. And he makes it look so composed gets across and kind of outweighs almost O'Reilly and makes an amazing save with a glove. That is a great save by a great goal center and we end up winning the game due to it. Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Dubnik. So yeah, that was that was scary, but it actually granted us a little bit of leeway now because that was our hardest road trip of the season by none. California road trip, Western Canadian road trip, um, and we go to St. Louis twice. That is a tough road trip. And we won 5 out of 2. That is not bad, is it? Now that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Please click like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, and get ready for the Caps games. Where I will be able to do this probably a little bit faster than I was this time.